Hey everyone, today I have an absolutely crazy figure that I've been wanting ever since she was rumored, revealed, I've wanted her ever since she was even just shown in The Mandalorian, and finally having her in action figure form is very, very, very cool. We have, of course, Ming-Na Wen Fennec Shand from The Mandalorian slash The Book of Boba Fett, but in this case, technically, it's a part of The Book of Boba Fett, although... I did remember seeing, I do remember seeing um, some like concept of the galaxy packaging for the Mandalorian figures and she was in it, but they took her out and then they put her as number one in the Book of Boba Fett, which honestly I think makes more sense in the long run. Um, but that is all I really have to say to introduce the figure. So without further ado, let's just get into Fennec Shan's review. So like I said, she is a part of the Book of Boba Fett subline of the new Phase 4 Galaxy packaging. She is number one in Star Wars The Book of Boba Fett line, like I mentioned. Fennec Shand, an assassin and elite mercenary who has worked for all the top syndicates, clever, capable, and cunning. She is a formidable opponent. Formidable indeed. You can see Fennec Shand. I love the color of a green that they used. Very Boba Fett-like. You can see the image of her looking very, very cool. Very awesome figure. So here we have the actual sculpt and the actual figure. Uh, so this is all you get with the figure, and that is basically all you need. There's nothing else I really could have added. I guess we'll look at each of her accessories first. Here we have her helmet, which is very cool, but it doesn't, like, hmm. You can kind of open it, but I wish it was, like, rotatable, like, so you could actually properly bend it down and it would stay. Because right now, you can put it on her head, of course, but you can't really see the eyes. I mean, you can kind of try to lower it there, like, you can see them better there, but it won't really stay. I mean, yeah, it's good. I don't, the helmet is fine, it works. I just wish you could move the visor down a little bit more. And then, of course, she does have her awesome rifle included. So here's the sculpt of that. Very, very cool, and it is accurate to the shell. This uh, bandolier, I believe is what it's called, does come off of her, and it does come off of the gun. However, comma, it's very, the pins are very, very fragile. And one of them is starting to kind of already, like, get loose. So I would not recommend doing that too often. Maybe do it once or twice and then just leave it for the rest of eternity. But that is Fennec Shan's gun. You have some nice orange on there. Her signature color where she pulls the knife out of and stabs Kersantin. Very, very cool. And then, like I said, I didn't go through the helmet entirely. But you get the gist works looks like fennec shand that's all i can really ask for but the actual figure herself is very cool you can see the ming na wen head sculpt um i i think this is like 80 percent there i i think i don't know they're missing a couple like very important beats on just the sculpt of it but i do think it gets the point across and to most of the time we might just have her display with the helmet on, so it wouldn't really matter. But this does work to have the helmet off, not entirely uh, a wasted sculpt. But I do think they could have done a little bit better. And then I do, I have noticed in like the more recent episodes of Book of Boba Fett, her hair kind of starts like to come down in the front. So it's just weird because this is probably more uh, inspired by her outfit on uh tython and like in mandalorian season one so just have to keep that in mind they probably designed this figure like two years ago and then the, just the sheer like sculpt of this figure is truly amazing all the swirls and twirls and these patterns are just very different for a black series figure and then there you can see I don't know what this is. It might be like a comms device. And then where she has her robo parts, but you cannot detach that, sadly. And then she does have this, which is where her rifle, this is the arm where it would hit back on. So I guess that's just like a, I don't know what this is. Is it like a, so she can land on her elbow? I don't know. 
uh, let me know in the comments below. But also you can see the color in the hair. Very, very cool. Reminds me a lot of uh, the Slave Leia kind of hair. And then you can see what the leg looks like underneath. Oh, Obviously the great sculpt continues. And I love the, um, the kind of... I, I know this is weird, but there is, like, different blacks on this figure because there's, like, the, the the majority of the figure is a matte black, but you have, like, here, which is more shiny. This is more shiny. The shoulder pads are more shiny. And then you have, like, the boots, which is kind of, like, a bit of both worlds. Yeah, I just really like the effort that they put into this figure. They really uh, wanted it to come out to be the best that it could be. And honestly, I think it is. I am completely happy with this figure. Very, very few problems. But I think that is all I have to say about the Fennec Shan. So let's get into her articulation. So the articulation on this Fennec Shan is fairly standard for a female Black Series figure. So the head does go up, not that much, but enough. It does go down. And you do have to keep in mind that the ponytail will kind of just move with the head sculpt. So you'll have to Fidget with that. Head sculpt goes side to side. Of course, you get the full 360. It's on a rocker, so, or a dumbbell, I mean. And you know what that equates for, that great articulation. So the arms do go out that far, go full 360, um, but the shoulder pad does get in the way. I think there's a little bit of a butterfly joint in there, but it's not like... <sighs> It's to the point where I'm starting to think that it's not. It's so useless that I'm going to say that there isn't. But I I don't think a normal action figure could just do this. So it's just like it doesn't stay, if you know what I mean. Like it kind of moves. I don't know. Um, and then the elbows are single jointed. They go in a little more than 90. And then this hand, it's uh, up, down, like this. 360 and then the other hand is the trigger movement so it's like that and like that and of course full 360 the helmet doesn't affect the articulation either um it's just adds on to the initial articulation of the unmasked head sculpt and then the ab crunch does go down that far back that much side side full 360 uh no, that doesn't move. Uh, and then the legs do kick forward that far, which is very, very good. Uh, they do kick back, not so much just because of this traffic cone of a outfit. And then the legs do the splits that much. She does have a upper thigh cut, which equals uh, for full 360 movement. Single jointed uh, uh, knees, which are what you would expect. Uh, no boot rotation, but it does swivel here. And then the ankles do go up, down, and of course, ankle pivot. So fairly standard articulation. I maybe was expecting a little bit more, just like maybe those butterfly joints could have been more obvious. But other than that, I'm fine with it. So let's get on to the comparisons. So I have about, I think, five comparisons that I want to do here. The main one, of course, as you saw in my previous review, is, of course, Tython Boba Fett. These two... Look very good together that hood needs to just stay down but you can see that they work very well and then i'll put the helmet on so you can kind of see what that looks like and then of course the mandalorian Din Djarin. you can put them right there looks very good and then i guess just because we can put her next to a tuscan and then the interesting ones are the bad bats because she is a part of that show. She's a very prominent part of season one, so hopefully we get to see more of her in the second season this year. But yeah, that is the comparison. So let's get on to my final thoughts. So my final thoughts on this figure are, I think, fairly self-explanatory. If you watch the full video, this is a absolutely amazing figure. I My problems with it are so minor. I just, I think the head could have been maybe a little better the articulation may be a tad bit better, but that's just being super nitpicky. If you want a Fennec Shan figure, and if you want a very good Fennec Shan action figure, you will definitely not be disappointed with this. So overall, I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. Uh, it's going to be a hot seller, so if you want her, try to find her. And if you do, don't pass her up because you likely won't see her again. Um, I'm planning on getting a second one because I do want to have one on my Bad Batch shelf. Um, 
So I'm sure some other people are going to do that too. So just keep that in mind. She's going to be a hot seller. But thank you as always for watching my video and I will see you in my next video, which should be another member of this wave, probably Bib or uh, Migs. But let me know what you thought about her in the comments below. Like, subscribe, do all that. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.